Whenever the laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. It may be called the state police, state troopers, militia, the rangers, or the highway patrol. These are the stories of the men whose training, skill, and courage have enforced and preserved our state laws. the alley cat of crime, wandering the night in search of prey. The highway patrol wages constant war against the common housebreaker, not only to protect the property of private citizens, but their lives as well. Experienced officers know that no matter how carefully a crime is planned, things go wrong. And all too often, the result is far worse, far more terrifying than burglary. Hey! Shh, I won't hurt you. Please don't, kid. I I'm leaving. Daddy! Daddy! Don't do that, kid. I told you I wouldn't hurt you. I promise. Now, take it easy. I wasn't gonna... You should have kept your mouth shut. Give me... Give me the highway patrol, please. Quickly. Stay in your room, darling, please. Highway patrol, Lockwood. This is Mrs. Redmond. We've been hurt very badly. Hurt very badly here. My husband stabbed. I've been hit. Ma'am, what's that address? It's... Hello? What's that address? Mommy, what's the matter? Hello? 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 What's that address? What? Tell them where we live. 1541 Camellia. I have to hang up now. Emergency ambulance call. 1541 Camellia. Stabbing case. Get going. Mommy, what's the matter? Someone will be here soon. Try not to worry. Matthews. Mr. Matthews, this is Lockwood. I'm sorry to wake you up at 4.30 in the morning, but we just got a call I think you'll want to look into. You should be sorry for waking me this hour. What is it? A man's been stabbed. His wife's been injured, too. Where is it? What's the address? 1541 Camellia. Okay, I'll tell you what. You call Ken. I'll be right there. Hi, Ken. This is Lockwood. There's been a stabbing at 1541 Camellia. You're supposed to join Matthews right away. Is that better, Mommy? Is that... Front door. Let them in, darling. Billy, be brave. Oh. Mom and Dad in there. Well, how did it go? You'll find 
finally did it. Did what? Sent me to a house full of people and a kid. Buddy, what are you talking about? Those people were off on vacation. <laughs> I checked it. Sure. The kid woke up, the guy woke up, his wife woke up. I had to get rough. Marty. What? Marty, you didn't hurt anyone. Oh, but Marty, you said it would never come to that. You said it would always be clean and neat and nobody would get hurt. Oh, well, look, don't blame me. You're the one who fouled up the detail. For a whole month, I've been waiting for this setup. And what do I get? Nothing. Not even a watch. Sorry, Marty. Oh, sorry. But Marty, it wasn't my fault. After all, people come home early from vacations. You know that. It had to happen sooner or later. All right. The next setup has got to be it, understand? The next? But you can't. The police will be looking all over for you. We gotta go somewhere. I've gotta go somewhere. But I can't travel now and pay later. I need cash. I might have to hold up for a couple of years. Marty. Marty, you don't mean without me, do you? Just at first. Can't take any chances. I'll get settled and then I'll send for you. Come on, don't look like that. I wouldn't run out on you. I couldn't. You know that. Now you get with it. Find me a big house in a fancy neighborhood with lots of mink coats in the closets, okay? Oh, Marty, why can't we unload that big diamond ring you picked up last week, huh? Oh, are you kidding? The fences don't want that piece of junk. Now get going. I'll be back later. Okay. That a boy, Billy. Mom told me to be brave. I tried, but I'm scared. You're scared? Look, I'm a policeman. I'm supposed to be brave. I'm scared all the time. You are? Yeah, I sure am. Do you know what bravery is? It's a man who's scared, but still does what he has to do. Do you understand what I mean? I think so. All right, Billy, why don't you try it? How? Tell me about the man who was here. What about him? Billy. Was he taller than I am? I don't know. Did he come to here? To here? I don't remember. All right, did you notice anything else? Did he have a mustache? Did he wear glasses? He was very old. Very old? Like you and my dad. Oh, very old like you and your dad. Huh? You gotta find something. Take a look. Were you and your folks on a trip somewhere? The mountains, but we had to come back last night. Mr. Maser got sick. Well, who's Mr. Maser? The man who works in my dad's store. Guess they came home too late, went right to bed without unpacking. You know, it could be the burglar wasn't expecting to find anybody here. I bet he's that vacation burglar we've been looking for. If he is, he's a lot more dangerous than we thought. And we don't even know what he looks like. No one's ever seen him. No one? Billy has. Fearing that the man known as the vacation burglar would kill again to avoid capture, the highway patrol concentrated on its only source of information, a bewildered, frightened boy, only eight years old. Now, come on, Billy, let's go, huh? This is from here on. He's gonna be the house to take care of you. Now, come here with me. Hold my mother. Your mother's fine. Don't worry about it. But tell me one thing, will you? The guy was wearing a blue shirt, right? I think so. What about his pants? Were they uh, blue jeans, gray, slacks, what? What was he wearing? I don't know. All right, then let's start from the top. What about his hair? Was he bald? He had blonde hair, white hair, what? Gray hair, anything? I don't remember. You don't remember. What? Oh, I see what you mean. All right, now look. 
I want you to go through these for me. Hmm? These are not comic books. See if you can find the guy we're looking for, will you? Okay, Billy, sit down here. Now look it over real good. Take your time. Here's an additional APB. Get it out. Talk to the hospital. The boy's mother is still unconscious. She took a hard, nasty blow in the head. What are her chances? Doc says fair, but you won't be able to talk to her for several days. Okay, thanks. Headquarters to all units. Headquarters to all units. More on that last APB. Billy, just check with the hospital. Your mother's in good shape. You got nothing to worry about. When can I see her? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll promise you this. Tomorrow. Okay. All right, come on. Keep looking. What about the vacation burglar? But, Mark, I have a much better way of raising some cash. Oh. Selling some of the stuff we've already got. You know, like that big diamond ring, for instance. Now, look, I know I could find some sucker who wouldn't know it was a bad stone. Oh. Advertise. Are you kidding? No. As a matter of fact, I went out this morning and put up some notices on the market bulletin boards. Oh, now, look, Marty, take it easy. I gave them my phone number and no address. I'll take the ring to the customers. There won't be any trouble. I still want a setup. I'd like to have at least five grand more than I've got. Five grand? Won't be cheap, sending for you and living it up the way we want to. Well, as long as you put it that way. Okay. Marty, do you have to have the gun? Yeah, I might. How you doing, Billy? Good. Just the one right here? No. But I remember one thing. What is it? His hair smelled like my electric train. Smell like what? My electric train. Electric trains? Mm-hmm. Okay. You keep looking, huh? Well, what do you got? Well, I found two diamond rings advertised, a mink coat, four wristwatches. I checked them out. They're all on a level. You gotta be going through a fence. Yeah, I guess so. Thank you. Diamond ruby ring. Star Sapphire, Diamond Bristol. Six burglars, we haven't got a lead. Say, what about those bulletin boards? What bulletin boards? We have the ones in the markets. They're plastered with ads. Sometimes you see some real good bargains. Oh, I know the ones you mean. Rooms to rent, cars for sale, hope. Come on, let's check them, huh? While the highway patrol searched frantically for an opening in the case, the planning of a new burglary was in progress. Posing as a door-to-door -door saleswoman, Blanche Hudson invaded a neighborhood where she knew there would be, as her partner had put it, plenty of mink coats in the closets. signs indicated that the occupants were out of town, but there was no way of telling when they might return. All right, brother, here's... When you wake up, there's another one. I think he spun on one of these circulars. Oh, fell asleep, huh? Yeah, sure did. What are we gonna do? He's our only chance. Can't let that killer run around loose. Weren't you a kid once? You remember? Mr. Matthews, I think we got something. Here's a rundown of some of those market bulletin boards. The diamond ring advertised a market on River Road. The same one advertised a market on Maple Avenue. And again, the market at five points. The description matches this one here on the stolen property list. Yeah, I see what you mean. You know, they all have the same phone number. Let's check them out, huh? That should be home by now. All right, wake them up and take them home. Billy? Come on, you can go home now. I guess I got sleepy. That's a gross understatement. I want to say you've been a great help. Mr. Matthews, was I brave enough? Braver than we are, believe me. Can I come and see you tomorrow? Okay. Right. Come on, let's go.
Yeah, that's right. Look, I'm Harvey Simmons. I'm very interested. I'd like to get it for my wife. What are you asking for? Uh, $750. It's a perfect blue-white stone. Uh, you see, it belonged to my mother. She died recently, and, uh, well, frankly, I need the money. Well, I'm sorry to hear about your mother, but $750, that seems like a lot of money. Look, give me your address. I'll have my wife come over and take a look at it. Oh, well, that won't be necessary. I'll bring the ring over to her house. Well, Mrs. Simmons is out shopping today. That's going to be much easier to go to your house. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be out all day myself. Perhaps I could meet her somewhere. Suggest someplace. Well, how about the corner of Cochran and Loring at 2 o'clock? Loring and Cochran, 2 o'clock? Right, I'll tell her. Fine. By the way, my name's Miss Hudson, and I'll be driving a red convertible with a top down. A red convertible with a top down? Incidentally, what'd you say your name was again? I told you, Harvey Simmons. Fine. Well, thanks for calling, Mr. Simmons. I thank you very much. Policewoman Parker's available. Should I get her for your wife? As fast as you can. She is. Take it easy now. Anything special other than you've told me? No. Good luck. My husband called you this morning about the ring? Yes, here it is. And how much did you say you wanted for it? Seven fifty. It's a beautiful ring. It's just stunning. But I'm afraid that's a little higher than I want to go. Well, you see, my mother paid fifteen hundred for it originally. Well, I'll see what my husband says. And I'll get back to you. All right. But look, don't wait too long. I've had a lot of calls about it. Well, I'll try and phone you tonight. And thank you for showing me the ring. Bye. Bye.
2150 to 3016. 2150 to 3016. 3016, bye. I follow the suspects to a place called Bonded Brake Specialist. It's on Barry, two miles east of Highway 6. Join me here. We'll stake it out and see who comes and goes. 10 4? 10 4. And she's going to speak to her husband, and she said she'd call me back tonight. Oh, listen, nobody's going to buy that ring. It's got a bad flaw in it that anybody can see. Nobody wants to buy that or any of the stuff the fences wouldn't take. Marty, let me at least try. It's much smarter than... No, I want a big score. How many times do I have to tell you? All right. I found a couple of places, but there's no way of telling when the people are going to be back. What kind of places? Big ones. Hey, let's take a look at those. Twenty-one fifty to thirty sixteen. Twenty-one fifty to thirty sixteen. Thirty sixteen. Bye. I just took a look at this place. The guy that owns it might fit the description Billy gave us. What do you mean? Well, you know the description was pretty vague, but this guy could have oil and grease on his hands. Maybe that's why Billy said he smelled like an uh, electric train. Get out here fast. <laughs> Hold it. Wait a minute. Look at that car. Do you think it's a? Yeah, could be a cop. Get going. They're leaving. This is code three, but no siren. Get moving fast. Suspects in flight, east on Barry. Can you intercept? If I reach Barry in time. Step on it. Use your siren now. 10 4? 10 4. got hit. How bad is it? It's all right. Don't worry about it. I'll call in. 3016 headquarters. Headquarters, by. Suspect has been apprehended after a gunfight. Send an ambulance and coroner. Arc 1020 is Berry Street, three blocks east of Highway 6. 10-4? Ten 10-4. Four? Ten four. All right. He works in the hospital on Billy's mother. Yeah, she's going to be all right. 10-4? Good. 10-4. Little Billy's mother's going to be all right. What am I going to do now? He was all I had. What's Billy Redmond going to do without his father? See Highway Patrol again next week. Until then, remember, if you care to drive, Drive with care. This is Bradley Crawford saying, see you next week.